welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I will be doing a collab with my good friend. Uh, her channel name is The Oracle of Makeup. Um, she is a plethora of knowledge when it comes to high-end makeup, um, and she loves eyeshadows. She does some really cool videos where she swatches palettes, compares palettes, um, talks about different formulas, different brands, that sort of thing. And I thoroughly enjoy her channel. I'm gonna have that linked in the description box below. Please go check her out and subscribe. I think you will love her. Um, and she and I connected in the comment section of one of my videos and just hit it off, which has become a theme in my life, which I'm just loving. I've met so many great people through my YouTube journey thus far. And she said to me, let's collab. And I said, okay, what would you like to do? And she came up with the idea of initially, she said, let's pick out the favorite shade in all of our eyeshadow palettes and swatch them. And I thought, have you seen how many eyeshadow palettes I have? A ton. So I thought, eh, I don't know that I want to do that because you guys would probably uh, get up and walk out of the room uh, after about 20 minutes. So then we decided to narrow it down to our top 25 palettes and only choose one favorite shade out of each palette. Then she sent me an email and said, you know what? I don't think I can do 25. I think I'm gonna have to do 30. And I don't know that I can only pick one shade in each palette because there's some that I have like two or three shades. And I said, you know what? It's okay in this instance to cheat. If you can't cheat with eyeshadows, then what have you? I mean, what can you do? Um, I think that's the only area in life where it's okay to cheat is with eyeshadows. So I said, hey, if you can't pick just one, then do two. And if you can't pick two, then just do three, who cares? So we are going to be showing you our top 30 eyeshadow palettes and our favorite shade from that palette. So if you're interested to see what my 30 top palettes are and my favorite shade within those palettes, please sit back, relax, and Let's get started. All right, so let's get busy. This is gonna take me a little bit of time here to go through all these palettes, but I'm gonna to try to go through them pretty quickly. Um, I just am going to be showing you the palette and then showing you the shade and then swatching the shade. So um, these are in no particular order. I'm not gonna do it from like my least favorite to my most favorite or vice versa. I'm just gonna go through these palettes and show you the beauty of these palettes and the beauty of the shade that I have selected. So are you ready? Here we go. All right, so the first palette is the Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette from BH Cosmetics. I got this, oh gosh, probably a couple of months ago, I guess, and I just love this palette. So my favorite shade in this palette. Now, I am a shimmer lover, so the majority of the shades I'm going to be swatching are going to be shimmers because that's just where my heart is. Um, if I had to choose a favorite matte, it would definitely be this dark green. But my favorite shade in this whole palette is this one right here. This is the shade Treat. I just think it's so gorgeous. It looks so beautiful on the lid and I'm just obsessed with this. So I'm gonna swatch that for you. And I'm not the world's greatest swatcher, but I'll do my best. Um, and I have a couple little scrapes on my arm, so I apologize for that. But I'll go ahead and put that right here. And I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? It's this just vibrant Kelly green and I just think it's so pretty. I love that palette. I've used it like three times now and it's just, it's one of my absolute favorites. So definitely wanted to include that in this and definitely love that shade Treat, it's so pretty. The next palette I'm gonna be showing you is my absolute favorite palette in all of the world. This is the Club Nebula uh, Kaleidos. Uh, the brand is Kaleidos in collaboration with Angelica Nikavist. And this palette is just spectacular. And it was really hard for me to pick a favorite shade because there's so many in here that are gorgeous. But my favorite has to be Astro. This one right in the middle, this blue. It's so beautiful, it's so multidimensional. And I know that I've said that like blues kind of make me a little bit nervous, but um, I don't care. I love this shade so much. So let me swatch that for you. And again, that's the shade Astro. Oh, and they're just so soft and like creamy feeling. Oh, so we'll put that here. Oh, and it's got this really unique flip to it. It's kind of like a blue mixed with purple, and I just think that is so gorgeous. God, I love that. And the two of those together is quite nice. So yeah, if you don't have this palette and you're able to get it, I highly recommend it. I mean, the packaging's gorgeous, and the shades in here are, they can't be beat. They're incredible. This is the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics, and this has a really cool, awesome, amazing baked shimmer formula. Um, there's a few of these. Um, there's the Love Signs, a Crystal Zodiac, and then I have another palette I'm gonna show you too that's an all-baked uh, shimmer, shimmer palette. Um, but this whole thing is just incredible to me. Um, I love the mattes, but of course, the shimmers are what have my heart. So if I had to pick one, 
And maybe this is a little bit cheaty too because I am a Cancer, I was born in July, but Cancer right here, this is my favorite shade. It's this beautiful kind of bluey purple and I just love it so much. And these uh, baked shimmers are just incredible. I mean, they just have this really nice formula. I mean, look at that. It's almost kind of got even a black to it, kind of a black base to it. And I just think it's so gorgeous and it's just a fun color to use. Um, I've created a couple looks with that. Um, just kind of put that in the majority of my lid and then put like a light pink in the kind of inner corner of my lid and it's just gorgeous. So highly recommend getting one of these palettes. Um, also, I forgot to mention, there is a highlighter right in the center, um, which I think is a really cool idea as well. It's kind of a just a white kind of shifty, maybe shifty to a little bit like of a lavender. And these mattes here are incredible as well. So can't go wrong with BH Zodiac palettes. The next palette is the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. Um, this is one of my all time favorite Juvia's Place palettes. Um, this is the color story. It's incredible. Now, this was really hard because I love this shade here called Yamoja and I love this one called Fazo. Um, both of them are just so good. But if I had to pick, if I have to pick, I'm going to go with Yamoja because it's just such a cool kind of grayish blue shimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that. And you can't beat Juvia's Place shimmers. I mean, look at that. And it just feels so good. It feels like kind of buttery. It's just gorgeous. And I just think it's so unique and pretty and it's, you know, this kind of soft bluish gray, but I just think it adds so much to a look and I just love using that shade. So I had to include that, of course. And Juvia's Place, like I said, is one of my absolute favorite brands. Their shimmers are just so amazing. All right, so the next palette is the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. Um, I got this, oh, I think, what was it, for Christmas? I, my son got me a gift card, thank you. And so I went and picked this up and this is just such a really cool color story. Um, there's a bunch of different shades here. I know not everybody's favorites are the bigger palettes, but I really like them because it's just easy to create a look and you can create a multiple uh, multitude of looks with this. So my favorite shade in here, this is really hard, but my favorite shade is this one right here. It's kind of that chartreuse chartreuse shade <laughs> and it's kind of got like a, almost like a glittery texture to it but it's very soft and very nice and it's just uh it's a beautiful color i mean look ooh, i'm gonna swatch that here i mean look at that look at that it swatches beautifully i mean oh, i love that shade so much i love that whole palette i just think it's really a fun palette to use and yeah but that shade just has my heart Ooh. The next one is the Naughty Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is one of my absolute favorite BH Cosmetics palettes. But my favorite, favorite shade in this palette is this one right here. It's called Candied Fruit. And it's just a really unique shade. It's almost like a cream to powder, I would say. And it just provides this beautiful uh, kind of magenta purpley sheen to your lid. And oh, I'm in love with it. So I'm going to swatch that too. I guess I don't need to say I'm going to swatch that too because I'm going to swatch all of them. Um, but I mean, if you, and it's very soft, it's almost, well, kind of like a super shock, but it works a lot better. Super shocks do not work on my lids at all, but this definitely does. So let's swatch that. And it's kind of got this kind of reddish pink, uh, maybe even an orange, but there's also a purple flip to it. I don't know how well you can see that, but I mean, it's just so lovely and I just enjoy it so, so much. So yeah, the Naughty Palette, highly recommend picking this up. It is absolutely amazing. And I know that they have sales quite often on the BH Cosmetics website. So maybe check and see if they have this on sale because it's definitely worth having in your collection. This is the Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics. And this is a very beautiful green yet neutral color story, but they, we've got some deeper shades here and I just absolutely love this palette. Now, uh, this is really hard too because I like so many of these, but the one shade that really just bam sticks out at me is this one right here, Pit. Now you might think I'm crazy because there's all these really cool uh, shimmers in here, but I just love that matte so much. It looks so nice on my lower lash line. I used that uh, the last time I created a look with this and it looked beautiful. And they have these this really nice formula for their mattes too, um, which I really enjoy. And it's just kind of this deep, rusty brown and I just think it's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Mm. I love this color story. Maybe I should do a palette bingo with all of my 30 top palettes. <laughs> no, I don't want to. This is the Tasty Avocado Palette from I Heart Revolution. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. Um, the green, uh, whoops, sorry. The green shades in here I think are just gorgeous. Um, there's a you know, variety of greens, but if I had to pick my favorite shade, 
which I do have to pick my favorite shade, I need to quit saying that, but okay, is this one right here. This is called Foodie, and I just love this shade. So I'm gonna swatch that. It's just this really cool mix of kind of like a green and blue, kind of a teal, and I just think it's so pretty. And these are really cool shimmers. Um, they're kind of flaky. At first, I wasn't really sure exactly how to feel about them because it kind of took a little bit of finesse to put them on the lid. But once I really got kind of a hang of it, then I was like, oh yeah, these are great. And the cool thing about this formula too is that it literally lasts on your lid all day and it looks like liquid metal. I mean, it's just, they're gorgeous. So yeah, I highly recommend that palette. The It's My Pleasure from ColourPop. This is one of my absolute favorite ColourPop palettes. And this color story is just amazing. Purple, pink, magenta, uh, just, ugh, I love it. Now, my favorite shade in this one is this one right here. This is called Mr. Sandman. And I have used this shade more than any other shade in this palette. And I just love it. It's kind of a flip to like pink and purple, um, but it's got this like an a lavender, a really nice lavender undertone to it. So, I mean, look at that. It's kind of a reddish purple, yet lavender. I mean, it's just, it's a very unique shade and I really enjoy using this. I do have another ColourPop palette. This is the Frozen 2 from ColourPop, Disney's Frozen 2. Um, this is just such a beautiful palette. I love the cool tones. I just think it's amazing. And the one thing I cannot believe I did was I did not include this in my silver swatching video. Ding dong. Because this shade right here, this is called Ice Crystals. And I don't know what I was thinking. I just like went over my head. But I'm definitely going to swatch this for you because this silver is just, I mean, oh, amazing. Um, I will switch to my other arm and I'm going to swatch with my left hand. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, this is such a beautiful shade. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So yeah, I, I highly recommend this. I don't know if this is still available. I think it is. I want to say I just saw this not very long ago when I was checking out ColourPop's website. The next palette is the Trendy in Tokyo by BH Cosmetics. This is an all rainbow palette. I love this. It's so much fun to use. Um, I've created some really fun, pretty looks with this. And I think this is a perfect palette for summer. But if I had to choose my favorite shade, which I do, it would be this one right here, Wasabi. I just think it's such a gorgeous green, kind of satiny shimmer. And I just really like how beautiful this is and how vibrant it is. It's very um, unique. I don't think I have a shade like this at all in my collection other than that one. So it's just a really fun shade to play with. But yeah, it's just such a fun shade and it's just unique and I love it. And this is such a fun palette. Excellent for summertime, like I said. The next palette is the Sample Beauty Jewel Toned Palette. This is such a wonderful palette. Sample Beauty is an amazing brand. Um, and I just love this color story. I mean, it's very unique. You can create a lot of different looks with this. Um, but my favorite shade is this one right here. It's called Moonstone. It's kind of like this pinky, yellowy, champagne-y, shifty shade. And it's just such a beautiful shimmer. So I'm going to swatch that. I mean, look at how unique that is. I don't even know if you can see it. I mean, right now it kind of looks yellow. But it, then it looks pink. And it's just amazing. So I'll swatch that. Like when I swatch it here, it looks very pink. But when I was holding it up, it looked very like kind of goldish yellowish and it's just so amazing. Go a little bit more now. Uh, I just love this so much. Oh, mm, I love it. And this is just a really nice palette and Sample Beauty has several palettes that I want to get. The next palette is going to be one from ColourPop. This is the Boudoir Noir. Um, I just adore this palette so much and I have already swatched this shade before but I'm going to swatch it again. It's this one right here called Sleep In. It's this just beautiful incredible gold like true gold like bright vibrant gold and I just love it. So let's go ahead and swatch that baby. I mean look. Oh I love it. Swatch that right here. Oops. Almost went over the top of that other shade. <laughs> so yeah this is just such a beautiful beautiful gold. Um, and I'm swatching with my left hand, I'm not left-handed, so this might get a little out of control. But yeah, I really enjoy the Bador Noir palette, and uh, if you can get this, I highly recommend it. It's a really nice, kind of grungy color story, um, which I prefer, uh, really, in my collection. I love these, and that gold is so fun. 
Okay, so the next palette is one that has been discontinued, but I just felt like I had to show it because it's got such beautiful shades and it is in my top 30. So this is the Yasmine palette by Miali Beauty. Um, Miali Beauty is no longer in business, which makes me really sad because I really would have liked to have gotten more palettes from the brand. Um, but yeah, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And the one shade that I really love is this one right here. It's called Annie. Um, I've used this a couple of times and uh, I just love how it looks. Uh, let's go ahead and swatch that. And these are just very nice, very buttery, creamy shimmers that I think are just incredible. I mean, look at that. Very nice pink um, with kind of maybe a little bit of purple to it too, or no, I guess it's more like an orangey, orangey pink. And I just think it's stunning. So I definitely love that shade the most out of this palette. Um, the next one is the Valkyrie palette from XNO Cosmetics. Um, this is an in, a US indie brand. I got this based on Katie from Makeup For Last Time suggestion. And I love this palette. As I said before, this woman is my spirit animal. This is who I am on the inside. At least that's what I tell myself. This is the color story. Gorgeous, cool toned, um, really just beautiful shades. And this blue here, this is called Bifrost, is my absolute favorite in this palette. It is just delish. And I will show you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll show you once I swatch. I mean, look at how vibrant that blue is. Oh, and let's swatch this right here. I mean, look at that. Look at that blue shade. I mean, I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. I really don't. I mean, that is just such a gorgeous, like, sea, ocean blue, vibrant shimmer. And, oh, I just love it so much. I love it. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to a couple of purple palettes. Um, this is the Purple Haze from Cara Beauty. Um, I've used this a few times, and I absolutely love this palette. Um, the shade that's my favorite, however, would be this one right here. This is called Trap. And it's just a beautiful pink kind of lavender shifty shade. And it's got that really nice, soft, buttery texture to it that I just adore. And here it is on my finger. And I'm going to swatch it right here. Um, it's just this really fun, bright pink, like kind of soft at the same time. Very, you know, kind of a nice romantic feminine shade. Um, and yeah, there's another one in there too that I love. It's up at the top. I'll show you here in just a second. But yeah, I just think that is so gorgeous. Um, the other shade in this palette that I love is this one right here. Um, it's called Indica. And I think that is really pretty too. But this one right here has my heart. So, and I mean, all of the shades in this palette are gorgeous. It's got a couple pressed glitters, but they're very finely milled. And I really enjoy using the glitters in the Cara Beauty palettes. Okay. Next is another purple palette. This is the out of, you're out of this world, right? You're out of this world uh, palette by makeup from Makeup by Lisa. This is a UK indie brand that I was um, shown from my beautiful friend and sister Steph from Not Your Basic Steph. Um, I'd seen her create a couple looks with her palettes from this brand and I thought, oh, I really wanna get this one because I love purple shadows so much. And this time I'm gonna be choosing a matte. This shade right here, this dark purple shade is just perfection. Um, it's not always easy to find a good deep purple matte and Lisa killed it with this one. I love it. So I'm going to swatch this and I mean, look at how like deep and rich that is. I mean, look at that. It's just gorgeous. Um, yeah, I just love it. I'm going to put a little bit more on there so you can really see how beautiful this is. Um, it's just so nice. I mean, look how rich and deep and lovely that purple shade is. Oh, I love it. And I have been wanting to create another look with this palette on my channel. So keep an eye out for that. I want to use the kind of the reds and the burgundies here. I just think they're gorgeous and I haven't touched this yet since I made my video. So I really want to create another video with this palette because I think it's so nice. And I really want to give the brand some love because her customer service is incredible. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> This is the Solar Flare palette from uh, BH Cosmetics. This is one I was talking about. That's the all baked highlighter, or not highlighter, all baked shimmer formula, sorry. Um, and there's, you know, kind of similar tones here, but the one that really has my heart is this one called Magnetic. It's this beautiful, deep, rich purple shimmer. Um, I'm gonna go swatch that now. And I mean, just look, look, it's just luscious. It's like, you know, uh, dewy grapes. It's just so beautiful and it's got this just kind of, it's kind of got a, maybe a black base to it, but it's just got this beautiful purple shimmer that just really pops and it looks so nice in the lid. I love using that. Um, I haven't used this palette in a really long time and I really want to use it again because it's just so much fun. Let's look at it one more time. 
I mean, look at these shades. And I love this one right here too. That is called Photosphere. And I, I love that one too. But the challenge is to pick your favorite shade. So I did the magnetic because I just think it's gorgeous. And look at that swatched. It's very pretty. Okay. Now I am going to be switching to back to ColourPop. This is the Stone Cold Fox palette. I got this kind of dirty for some reason, but um, white packaging does not stay very clean in my uh, setup here. Um, but this is a beautiful, cool toned dream, just delicious. And it was really hard for me to pick a favorite because there's a lot of colors in here. But if I had to choose an absolute favorite, I would pick this one here. It's called Mystery and I just love it. Now I did swatch that silver, I believe, I think I did in my silver video, didn't I? Um, but I think for this challenge, I really want to stick with mystery. So let's swatch that. Oh, and I love the formula of these. It's just this really pretty pink, light pink, um, kind of maybe a silver um, edge to it as well. And it's just so pretty and just, in my opinion, very romantic shade. And uh, it's really fun to use and it just looks so gorgeous on the lid. So. Yeah, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I went and cleaned off my arms because they were getting full and we still have 11 more palettes to go. Oh, and real quickly, I just wanted to show you something that's super cute. Look at my coffee mug. It says coffee and mascara. I don't know why I'm drinking coffee because it's like 95 degrees outside, but you know, and it's hot coffee, but hey, whatever. Um, you know, sometimes we do things that make no sense. Okay, let's go on to the next palette. This is the mm, Nomad Tokyo Harajuku palette. This palette, oh, it's just so amazing. When I first got this palette, I'll be honest, I didn't know exactly what to do with it because I'd never really used pastel shades, um, but I have f absolutely fallen in love with this palette. I definitely wanna make a video with this. Um, the top row is all mattes, the second row is all satins, and then the third row is all shimmers. And these shimmers are life altering. And that is dramatic, but it's the truth. They are so good. And the shade that has my heart in this palette is this one right here. This is called Otaku. And it is just the most interesting, flippy shade I think I may have ever seen um, in my collection. Um, it's got this really cool pink shift, but it also turns blue. And it really kind of threw me when I very first used it because I thought, oh, it's pink. And then when I put it on my lid, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's blue. But then like, you know, you look a certain direction and then it's pink and then it's blue. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I'm gonna swatch this. Um, it's gonna be very hard to see in my camera, which makes me really irritated. Um, and I could have picked another shade, but I can't because this is my favorite. I don't know if you can see that, but no, you can't at all. But it's just gorgeous. Please take my word for it. This is such an amazing palette. Let's look at it one more time, shall we? It's got just these beautiful shades. This one right here is also equally as beautiful. That is called Takashita Dori. And oh, so good, so good. The whole thing is just amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna be showing you these So Jaded from ColourPop. Um, and this is hard because there are so many beautiful shades in this palette. Um, the problem is, is that I recreated this. I watched Angelica Liramar's video where she took all the shades out and put them back in in an order that she felt was more like aesthetically pleasing to her. And I thought, I'm doing that. So that's what I did. So the shade name is not gonna match the shade. So I'm not even gonna say the shade name. But if I had to pick a favorite, <laughs> it's this one right here, that purple. It's so vibrant, so gorgeous. Um, I almost picked that, but I don't know. I just, oh, yeah, I love it. Let's swatch this. I mean, look, it's just, I mean, hello. It's such a beautiful purple satin delish. It's just in your face. It means business. It's not screwed around and I love it. So that palette has my heart. I love using it. I definitely am gonna use it a lot more during the summertime because I think it's a really nice palette for summer. Okay, the next one, The Nomad by Juvia's Place. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure, pretty convinced that this is my absolute favorite Juvia's Place palette because it's got a grungy color story and grungy color stories are my favorite. <clears throat> okay, however, this was so hard because all of these shades are so gorgeous and I love them all and I've already swatched this, but I don't care, I'm gonna do it again. It's this one right here, this one in the middle. It's just this beautiful bronzy gold. I mean, mm. Uh, I've swatched this in my golds um, video and it's just such a gorgeous shade. I mean, and it just goes on like perfection. It's that buttery, sticky, just mm, 
Like you just want to, you know, rub it in your hair. My mom used to always say that if she really liked something, she'd say, I love that so much I could rub it in my hair. Well, this is my rub it in my hair shadow, my favorite. I could just, but I'll keep it together for the video. Okay. The next one is the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. Um, this is also discontinued, which is a bummer, but um, I just, I had to show it because it's my one of my favorite palettes. Um, again, beautiful grungy color story. And the favorite, my favorite shade in this palette is Toucan, this orangey shimmer. Oh, I love it so much. Um, and these, again, these are very similar in my mind to the Juvia's Place shimmers. They're kind of that sticky consistency that I love so much. I mean, look at that. It's just fire in an eyeshadow. It's just this beautiful, rich, orange, gorgeous, just Oh, and I don't norm well, I don't know. I don't normally use color stories like that in the summertime, but that one I may have to make an exception for because it's just so gorgeous. Okay, now then, I do have this one by Alter Ego. This is the Aurora palette. This is the dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunrise, I believe. Um, and this is just huh, these beautiful warm tones. We have oranges, reds, yellows. I just love it so much. And my favorite shade is this one right here. It's called Dawn. It's this really cool kind of reddish, um, but it's got like a purpley base. I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to describe some of these. They're so unique. I don't know how to describe them. And this is just gorgeous. It's similar to one of the other ones that I swatched. I can't remember which palette that was. Oh, the Miali Beauty one. It's similar to that, but I do think it stands on its own. I think it's gorgeous. And, um, that whole palette is amazing. Um, really quickly, I almost chose this yellow matte. Um, it's called Sunburst because I think it's gorgeous. Um, but I don't know. I had to choose Dawn because it's just so pretty. And there's other shades in here that I think are lovely. But Dawn, I'm going to put a little bit more of that on there. Dawn is just incredible. <laughs> okay, so the next one is the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral. This is one of my other favorite Juvia's Place palettes. Um, it's got a really, when I first got it, I have to admit, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, because it just seemed like it didn't really go together. Oh, it goes together. I'm telling you, it goes together. It's got this beautiful blend of peach corals and then these grays, and that color combination is stunning together. Um, and if I had to pick my favorite, I don't know why if I keep saying that, I have to pick my favorite. It is this one right here, this beautiful peach. I just love it, or coral, I guess. Um, it's so gorgeous. I mean, look at how like vibrant and beautiful that is, but yet soft. I mean, but look, 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 it's just this absolute like tangerine dream. I just love that so much. And I just love that whole palette. I love the silvers in that palette. Um, the grays, uh, kind of like the charcoaly gray matte. I love that. Um, but yeah, this peach shimmer, coral shimmer is mm, it's delicious. Okay. Then we have the Life of the Fiesta palette from Cara Beauty. I did create a, uh, a look with this palette in a video when I very first started uh, my channel going. And this whole thing is just so beautiful to me. However, if I had to pick my favorite shade, it would be this one right here, this deep matte. It's called Skull Candy. And I just love this green matte. I mean, it's just so, it's like foresty green. One of my, it's probably my favorite color in the world. It's just got this really nice green, dark green, bold color uh, to it. And I just think it's so nice to use. Um, I love this palette. I love Cara Beauty. I wish more people would get on the Cara Beauty train and talk about them on YouTube because I've been so thrilled with their palettes that I have. And um, yeah, I de definitely want to like push Cara Beauty on you guys. Push it. Because... I think you'd be really happy with their palettes. And I'm fortunate because they carry a lot of their palettes at TJ Maxx here, so yay me. <laughs> okay, we only have three more to go, okay? We can do this, four more, four more, sorry, I lied. Okay, this is the Goddess palette from Alter Ego. This is the dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold palette. Um, and I just love this palette so much. Um, I used this palette to create a look when I did my video with my daughter, Sydney, and I thought it turned out really nicely. Um, but my favorite shade is this one right here, Cassandra. And this is kind of a goldy, peachy, pinky, shifty shade that I just absolutely adore. And I'm gonna put that one right here. And you can't really tell because I'm filming on my phone, but it's got this really cool kind of gold, orangey, pinky shift to it, and it's just gorgeous. Um, that whole palette is nice. There is not one bad shade in that palette. I love Alter Ego. It's so nice that, I mean, I understand it's a dupe and I understand that not everybody thinks that's the greatest idea, 
But what I think is cool is that, I mean, I don't think the formula is the exact same, of course not, but it's cool that they were able to create a palette that is, you know, really expensive and that is not accessible to everybody and it's just more affordable, but yet it has the same color story. So I think it's great. Okay, the next palette is the Dream Street from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, or it's the Ka ColourPop Dream Street palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I don't know what I, you know what I'm saying. Um, this is such a gorgeous palette. This was the very first eyeshadow palette, like a real eyeshadow palette that I ever got. My daughter got it for me as a gift. And this started, this is, this started this whole thing, how much I love makeup and, you know, my, my obsession with it and how it just, it's transformed my life. I mean, this palette, I give it all the credit. Now this is no longer available, which stinks because I think it's a beautiful color story. And I did not use the teals in this palette at all until I started my channel. Um, the look that I created, I believe in my first BoxyCharm video was with this palette, I think. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna use the teals. And I'm so glad that I did because this shade right here is now my favorite shade in this palette. It used to be this shade here, but now it's this one. So I'm gonna swatch that. I mean, mm. ooh, 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 so pretty. Almost put that over the top of that. I mean, look at that. It's just this bold, dark, beautiful teal shade and it's kind of got like a black base to it so the teal really pops when you put it on your eye it's just but it's kind of like almost kind of mysterious because sometimes it kind of almost does look black and then you shift and then it's teal black teal and I love it um, so yeah I love that palette so much I wish they would bring it back they probably won't but it really started this whole obsession that I have with makeup so I will always always love that palette okay and then we have the Flower After Hours palette from Cara Beauty. I just love this one too. It's got a very bright, bold color story and I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot over the summer. My favorite shade is this one right here, Busy Bee. This beautiful yellow butter shade. Um, it's just, it's kind of like a, you know, just a goldish yellow, but it reminds me of like liquid butter. Um, I'm gonna put that here. And it's just so nice and I just can't say enough good things about the Cara Beauty palettes. The formula is incredible. They have the best, I think, or maybe not the best, but one of the best pressed glitter formulas. I know that not everybody's a fan of that, but I think if you gave this one a try, you may change your mind because it's very finely milled, goes on very easily. There's not a ton of fallout and it does not get in your eye. So I love it. Okay, we're onto the last palette and that is the Afrique by Juvia's Place. And I just love the package. I love all of their palettes packaging. It's amazing. Now, this is gonna sound really weird, but when I first got this, the blue background kind of threw me. I don't know why, but it just kind of threw me. I was like, whoa. Uh, and it kind of made me, I don't know, not really know what to do with this palette, but I've used it a couple of times. I need to use it a lot more. Um, and this was really hard too, but if I had to choose this green one right here, Niger is my absolute favorite. Favorite. This beautiful green I mean look at that look at that this beautiful just vibrant green matte that is just to die for and this whole palette I think is just gorgeous it's got these beautiful primary colors you know the blue the yellow the green this is kind of an orangey red um, this deeper red here but then it's got these really cool accent shimmers that I just think are really fun so yeah I'm definitely gonna be pulling this out and using it over the summer um, I don't know why I haven't pulled it out yet but we're changing things today, folks. We're changing things. Okay, so I got through my top 30 palettes choosing a shade that I love the most from each palette. That was not easy. I spent oh, a lot of time yesterday afternoon like really like writing them down and like analyzing the shades and really trying to figure out which one uh, and then like feeling guilty that I hadn't picked the other one. I mean, like my palettes have emotions. They do, I'm convinced. They're all kind of mad at me. Just kidding. But anyway, I had so much fun picking out these shades and I cannot wait to see the Oracle of Makeups video. Um, I think she's gonna have some really nice palettes. Like I said, she's really into high-end makeup and I just cannot wait to see what she's chosen. So I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It truly means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, please hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. Also, I will be linking the Oracle of Makeup's channel in my description block 
description box. Please go there and subscribe to her channel. You will love it. She has some really interesting videos. I'm really thrilled that she asked me to do this collab with her. I hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves, staying well, staying happy, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye.